Hey, it's Sam back here and welcome to AdRespark. Now, today I'm excited to show you the software. First of all, I'm excited because I think this software is really needed and I'm glad someone has finally brought it out. I was actually thinking of doing something similar to this a few months back, but um, someone's already created it, so that's great, so I can show you this today. Now, um, the other reason that I wanted to get on camera today and review this in front of you is that Usine came out yesterday. It's a great graphic software. It'll do what AdRespark will do, but there's one really unique part of AdRespark, which I thought was worth telling you about, which um, uh, may be quite interesting to you. I also wanted to show you a review of the software because uh, I know there's going to be questions if I don't do this and I wanted to make sure that all of your questions were resolved if you're looking at this as a potential option to get access to. First of all though, go down below, check out all of the different bonuses. Um, there is also an early bird, uh, you know, some early bird information down below so check that out. Now AdRespark is a software for creating Facebook ads, for creating Instagram ads, for creating Twitter ads, for creating banner ads, all right? It's, it's a software designed to create those types of ads. Usine and there are, there are other softwares that will do that. The unique part of this software, and I, I actually asked the guys this, why is this different to Usine? And they said the reason this is different to Usine is every single ad that we've added in here, we've actually tested and has been um, you know, proven to be better than the other, other ads we used. They basically took a, a pile of thousands of different ads, they tested those thousands of different ads, and they've found that these are the ads that converted, and now what they've done is they've made them available for you so you can use those ads that are proven and converting, um, so you can actually go ahead and, and start using those in your business. Also, as you're going through the software, you'll notice there's tips on Facebook ads, you'll notice there's a number of different features the software has to make sure that your ads are always going to be working really well um, with the different softwares that you might be using. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll basically get a feel for that through this. So you've got monthly packs, you've got e-commerce templates, you've got local business templates, lead generation templates to choose from, blog post templates to choose from, retargeting to choose from, affiliate marketing. And I believe there is a monthly option to get more of these templates as they test them on a monthly basis. But that's one of the upgrades, and I'll have more details of that down below. As you go through here, you can find different images that you might want to use. So say, for example, if you're working with a local business, for example, that was in the jewelry niche, you could choose this, all right, you could choose this, you could go ahead and start editing it as you want. You'll see immediately when you get here, you've got the ability to change the background image, you've got the ability to edit the background image, you've got the ability to edit graphics within the image and actually upload, if you want to, your own graphics as a logo, or you can actually upload your own images as um, something that is slotted into here as well. So say for example, if I wanted to change this ad, I wanted to edit the image that's used in this ad, I could upload one of my own images like I have here, um, and I could use that. Now obviously this isn't the best example of one of uh, the images you might want to upload for a jewelry business, but I can suddenly change the type of ad this is by doing just that. I could also, if I wanted to upload a logo, or I could choose to not use that logo that, I, that we're using in this example. So. Say for example, if I, if I had a logo that I was using, I could add that into the, uh, into the editor like this. New this week, um, and I can edit this text. Uh, Sam Becker is on his laptop. Shop now. So you get the feeling, you can change this around as you want, it's the format, it's the look, it's the image itself, um, and the template that they use, which really is making the difference over Facebook. It's also got a number of tips. You can test the Facebook ad rule, so it'll actually test how many image or how much text is in your ads, so you're not breaking any rules um, with Facebook. And you can also do a quick check where it'll actually write down here, you can tick off, use a headline that we'll find um, on the landing page, similar headlines, um, keep the ad congruent with your copy. You can also go down and you can edit the text here through this system right here if you don't want to do it on the actual um, uh, text editor here, and you can change the script you use as well. You can choose different sizes, so you can create ads for all of these different sizes here instantly, for Instagram, for YouTube, for Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and all of that. Then when you're ready, you could do Sandbacker image, and you can export the files. So you can export all those files to here, to your desktop. So then once we've exported all those files, and you can see I exported one of those before, one of these other images before, then we've got all of our new ads inside of here. We can open them and we can then upload these to our chosen image you know, advertising places. So we could advertise this over Facebook. It's done in a way that the ad is small enough that it can be used in the different places it needs to. We can upload this to our Facebook timeline. We can upload this into Facebook's ads um, you know, feature to start 
advertising within and targeting our different niche and that's what the software will do so it's really straightforward easy to use it's good if you've you know looking for different templates that you can use as well um, you've also got a number of different options in here as well this background removal is really quite cool but it's an upgrade feature check out this for example if I wanted to remove the background of this image say um, this image isn't the best example. Let's grab another larger image of this. So say for example I had a larger image that I wanted to remove the background of. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the background here of this image right here. We could go ahead and we could remove the background uh, and just have me here. We can do that really easily by, um, and this is an upgrade feature by the way, it's the OTO1 included with this software and I wanted to show you this because I thought it was quite cool. And you don't need Photoshop to do it. I'll just wait for this to load parts of this image we want to remove using this dot system here and then we can choose which parts we want to keep using this system here and you can see that it's gradually making it easier for me to capture certain parts of this image now I want to make sure that this uh, is we'll just go um, clear that and we'll just do that again so what we need to do is we need to make sure the green dots are clicking inside of our screen we can build out our image as you can see here on the side and then what we need to do is we need to just choose which parts of this we want to remove the software will automatically remove the parts that we don't want and we can then very easily separate and make our image unique and stand out so you would usually use this with an image where you've got your full face maybe um, but then you can use this in your ads you can use this in the ads that you're running we could then go ahead we can save this so we go ahead and click save click done it's going to generate our results and it'll export this image now we would want to make sure obviously all of our image itself is um, edited as we want it to be but uh, it'll basically remove the outside border uh, that we have or remove the outside image so we can feature one particular image then add that into our ads which is really useful and I've found this really difficult to do in Photoshop but this software has made it very easy to take an image like this and feature one part of it removing the background and I thought this was well worth showing you it's an OTO1 upgrade feature but it's a cool part of the software that I wish was on the front end really <laughs> if only they put this on the front end but they've put it as an up upgrade feature it is an upgrade feature that's available with the software and if you want to get this feature um, then I highly recommend uh, getting access to that OTO one with the software. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Becker. Once again, um, I hope this video has been informative. It gives you the information you need to make a decision whether this software is right for you. And once again, thanks for coming to my bonus page. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Check out all the details down below and get access um, down there as well. See you later.